Hi Felters, it's editing Philippa here and I've just finished and I'm so sorry it's quite a long one so maybe watch it in two sessions. I just had so much uh, that I wanted to talk about and tell you so I hope you enjoy it but sorry about the length of it. I couldn't get it all in any faster. Hi Felters and welcome. Today we're going to look at problems with wire armature and how to get around it. Let's get started. Right Felters, here we are. I'm going to um try and talk through this so if you hear any children in the background I really apologize so first off types of wire so I use this is the one I use most of the time this is a craft wire and it is one mil thickness that means it's one mil across and I find it a perfect size for bending back in order to cut wire it is so much easier if you have a pair of these are called flat nose pliers the flat nose is the bit that helps you with getting a nice sharp end like that where I've folded it over and this bit in here is for cutting hold on to the bit because it pings sometimes and it goes across the room so these cut and help with getting a nice flat end bit now when I so I use a one mil so that's great anything above that I used to use a 1.6 mil and then I didn't fold it back on itself because it starts to get so thick this is a two mil and there is no way you are going to be able to be bending that back on itself but you could have it just as the bottom of the leg finishing there I will show you in a minute why I do bends at the bottom this is a thin uh, wire it's about a 0.5 it's 0.5 mil it's so bendy and it's great if you want to do something like little fingers little toes and you can just bend them over and then bend it back again and do another one so it's great I don't really do lots of birds or lots of things but like a hedgehog would need little fingers and then there's ways in which you can wrap them so that's the basic and it's just a craft wire off Amazon I will link it below so that's first off. Here we are, I've taken quite a, a long section of wire, probably at least 30 inches, and I'm going to shape it just to show you how I do the shaping. So the first leg, you will dictate the length about there. Use the flat nose pliers. It does kind of go all over the place, so do, I hope I can keep it all in shot. So that's the first leg. Then I go up, do an arch, and I start to get the length of it as I put it down on the mat so that's the next one down to the middle I do have this in a wire armature video but I am doing this just to showing show you briefly then I get the length now I'm going to overdo the length here just as a deliberate mistake so go down to the mat measure roughly it does not these legs do not have to be exact for what we are doing now try and get the archway into that leg because it's not got the arch and then back down to the mat and there we go again I don't want people to be scared of wire armature uh, it's something you've just got to try and do and you can do as I'm folding it back around the back here because this is just the excess so get the arch back into the legs now looking at this as a sheep I would say that that back is too long so if you've created what armature like that one of the easiest ways you just get a little kink in it and shorten it and there we go when you wrap the wool around it that will be fine if you're looking at your legs and you're trying them out it's best to try them down like that I wouldn't panic too much at this stage but if you've got one that's too long I'll just show you what I do just take the end, fold it over, and this is where the flat nose pliers really come into themselves. They make it so flat. And there you go, you've made it a bit shorter. A lot of the time, a lot of people prefer to leave the leg as a single wire. Let me just get a little piece. So a lot of people tend to leave the legs uh, longer like that and sticking down and not bent over which is absolutely fine I tend to bend them up because I don't like the sharp bit but what you can do is just a little bit of black tape on the end to stop you from hurting yourself because these end bits when you're felting and wrapping this you end up constantly catching yourself on it and these end bits are really really painful so I would just do a tiny amount of black tape like that you don't need too much 
so that will keep that nice and soft you could even pull that off towards the end when you've finished some people um, see if you leave the legs like this and the legs are too long and say you're starting to wrap it down and it's gone down and you're thinking that's way too long if you get to this point and you think yeah okay so you can make them shorter by bending it over like I did there but um, if you make them shorter like this it's a bit of a pain because the wires then start to ping out like that so you'd have to sort of wrap them round again and so unless you're wrapped the wool all the way down you've got to be a bit careful if you're just going to cut that join all right so that's why I like to just bend it over backwards I use quite a, a big needle when I'm felting so if it was to and see look that now because we haven't got any wool on it at all that's all just come off so that's why you have to be a bit careful if you've got a double and you just cut the end off so if you're working with a single wire that's fine and you can leave them out the bottom of like especially with horses because it's really hard to tell exactly how long the legs gonna be um, then you can leave it long and then you can just push the uh, leg up a bit trim it and let the wire come back down and then that will work really well so here we are we have this single bit and if we were to just do this and start wrapping wool it would slide everywhere I find it a lot easier when I'm doing my sheep I get it all around the middle and then fold it around the ends and then it stops sliding but if you've got a form where say it is going to be like this you're going to need something to help you attach it it is tricky otherwise the easiest thing for a starter point you could have just used pipe cleaners as your base anyway and go from there um, some people even say you can trim some of the fluff off the pipe cleaners but these ones are so soft that as soon as you attach the wool around it it sort of disappears but this is one solution is wrapping a pipe cleaner around the wire and then the wool will grip to the pipe cleaner and this is quite a smart and easy way of doing it and I think you don't get involved in any glue or any tape or any mess and actually I think this works really well and you get the strength from the wire underneath but yet the wool will grip to it actually it's so easy it goes on great these pipe cleaners are really quite soft if I use pipe cleaners inside of a armature instead of the wire I will normally take two pipe cleaners and twist them because otherwise these pipe cleaners aren't strong enough but there's that and as soon as you start attaching the wool that will grip to that really well let's have a go See, I can, I can practically, so I've started, sorry, I wasn't talking, but I can practically let go of it and it's um, staying on, whereas if that was just wire, it would ping off quite badly. So that has worked really well. Let me just give it a little bit of a felt. Sorry, it's white on white, but this is not all about loads of detail. It's just for you to see. So there we go. So that does grip and stay on really well so that's a simple wrap the pipe cleaner around the wire next up is florist sorry floristry tape and it comes in a variety of different colors and when it arrives it feels a bit waxy and you think well what is that going to do when you stretch it that's when the stickiness comes out so I'm using the word so again let's just cut a little bit this is great for if you were doing uh, claws or legs for birds there's lots of um, tutorials out there for birds like I said I don't do many birds so just get the first bit on and then as you stretch it the stickiness comes out so you don't have to get involved with any glue it is a bit fiddly but once you get the hang of it and you can see it's stuck on and then when you put the wool on the wool will grip to this you can and I've seen a few bits of it on Amazon but not much you can buy floristry tape that is pre wrapped but I don't know how strong the wire is on the inside that's the only thing whereas at least this you know you can dictate the wire size and like I said this is a one mil wire so that has gone on really tight but so that's a great effect 
for the leg of a bird and then you would go down and you would do the toes as well and then there you go it's all stuck to itself um, it's a little bit sticky on my fingers but it's not bad at all oh, let's just get I feel a bit gluey on my fingers and then if you get the wool start wrapping it round I think the extra bit of stickiness is going to help anyway I see no big difference between this maybe the pipe cleaner one is slightly bigger if you were looking to get a really fine finish and that's not sliding anywhere that's staying on and then if you would have felt it a lot more you would get a nice good grip with the wool so that is floristry tape and like i said it comes in an assortment of colors next up is any sort of pretty sticky glue uh, this is messy I'm just telling you now if this is the only thing you've got in the house then go for it but you could do it with a PVA glue so you get the glue you stick it on <sighs> then you have to clean your fingers a bit which is a pain before you get the wool out <laughs> I'm all sticky now and I would probably give it a little bit of time to dry I don't even think it works brilliantly maybe better than not having anything and then I'm wrapping it really tightly like I said you can do this with probably any glue you've got in the house and start felting it Obviously, this is just a really quick way of doing it, quick version for you. Otherwise, I would have obviously spent ages neatening it up. Yeah, that is on and that is stuck there. But I would have to say, look, I've got glue all over my fingers. So you put the glue on, wash your hands, come back and do the glue. And it's okay to let it dry a little bit more. So that's the next version. The next one we're going to look at is um, from the makers. I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that. This is a beeswax balm for shaping claws and beaks with wool and helping wool stick to bare wire armature. Soft wax which melts in the heat of your hands. Brilliant. Sounds perfect. And it's got a lot of instructions. So let's open it up. There we go. So, oh, smells nice. So um, this is for needle felting. It's a light color. So I'll just have a quick look at the instructions and then we'll do some. So here is the wax inside. And just to make it a bit easier on myself, I'm just going to scrape it out. And then it says literally going to warm it up a little bit between your fingers and then rub it on the wire few extra bits there and we get a few more there are lots of instructions about how to do um, actual you take the balm wax and you apply it to wool and then you can shape oh yeah that's feel quite good you can shape um, again it's on my fingers this is the only thing but I get the feeling that this wool is definitely gonna stick yep that's sticking really well no problems there um, so yeah there's very good instructions about applying this just to wool directly you twist a bit of the wool apply loads of it in the middle um, then let it dry bend it over and you can create claws so if you are doing any birds or any animals that have claws this would work really really well yeah that's definitely sticking so this is from the makers they are a UK based company. Um, let's put that down there. Let's give it a little felt. Again, I'm using a 36 or a 38 needle because of the problem of hitting the wire. So 
has that stayed that most definitely has stayed on. i mean i haven't felted any of that front bit there so that's definitely stayed on that's quite good so it's got you know two uses i would definitely um think that is a really good one beeswax balm and they're going to introduce some other colors as well because when you're um using the wool if you add a color on it's going to affect the color of the wool so they're adding different colors in as well so that's that one another method if you uh, don't have any glues or any pipe cleaners or any anything else around the house if you take a roving or a tops type well now it does generally help if you've got something to attach this end to like on a horse i would attach the end to the body and then wrap around the legs going down but if you put this on first this will give you a really thin surface layer it's much like the pipe cleaner effect and it goes all the way down but it does because it's a roving or tops because it's all in one direction it's quite fine you can get a very fine base layer you can go thinner than this if you wanted to keep going and then you would just needle felt this end bit in so tiny there we go you could definitely take a finer needle for this but be very careful and as i said you're going to need something to attach the top bit to because if i let go of this end i could felt it in a bit let's see if i can felt that in a bit and it will stay i don't think it will you know This is where I think pipe cleaners definitely have the edge because they'll stay. No, see it's unravelling. So you'd have to go along and felt it all the way along. But if you've got something to attach it to at the top, that works um, sufficiently. It's tricky, but it works sufficiently well. And the last one I'm going to show you on this really uh, fine wire. So. A lot of the time I was pulling out batting which is a great big sheet and then I'm quite happy with feeding in slowly but a lot of wools especially carded are in slithers the slither the piece that you pull out is probably too thick it's more helpful if you can have it thinner and then you can control it as it goes down so this method I learned recently so attach it round the top end fiddly isn't it armatures always fiddly and then fold that end bit over and that will secure the wool so I've folded the end over so it's not going to give you because obviously that's why I'm using a fine wire so that when I fold it over it um, is small if you have a thick wire it's not going to be as um, it's going to be quite a big lump at the end and you might not want that so let's see if I can trim this and try and do the fold over technique at the other end. So go all the way down. And guys, I am just rushing these and they're not very neat. Normally I'd be a lot neater. So you've got all the way over the end and then you fold it down and that will secure it. And to be fair, that's not bad considering I haven't felted that at all so then you would spend a bit of time neatening it all up so whenever you get to the bottom of your project or wherever you start at the top you would fold it over and it's given you that little fold oops and it's holding the wire so there we go so just to recap then we've got the pipe cleaner very simple easy to do we've got glue we've got floristry tape we've got the balm from the beeswax balm from the makers and um, that's actually look at that that's worked really quite well we've got just wrapping of roving or tops which is coming undone because i haven't really done it much and then we've got folding over the ends going back to white armatures if the legs are too long you can fold them over you can cut them if you do cut them like this and you have that problem you can get the floristry tape and keep um, the two bits together and also this bit sticking out here 
um, that in bit sometimes I just add a bit of floristry tape around it and that works so well because it keeps it neat and out of the way and it helps with the wool so if the legs too um, long that's not a problem you can push up the wool cut it or you can bend over the wire if the legs too short this is a lot harder and I have done this because um, if the leg is <laughs> sorry the door's just being shut if the leg is too um, short sometimes if you add on the wool for the leg and it becomes a bit floppy and not very strong so I have done this once but not on an item that I was selling to the public so I just take um, another bit of wire it was quite tricky because I'd done the leg so I had to push the wool right back up the leg Ooh. and then you take a bit of tape and you literally add a bit of leg on it works if you're desperate and you really need that leg to be strong it is very difficult to get the wool back down and around this but that has extended the leg it is possible to do next off I just wanted to cover a few bits of if you've got a frame of an animal and you're looking at it as you're going along and you're thinking wow that is just it's too long I can I literally get it and squidge it and you can make it shorter and the wire will sort of bend up a bit inside so that can work quite well do not fear if you're looking at something and you're thinking whoa that's way too long and also with the legs because you've got this archway inside you can get a bit of you can definitely make them a bit shorter but you can make them longer too by just sort of adjust, adjusting the arch inside I can feel it in there so uh, you know don't give up if they're looking a little bit unlevel you're kind of okay with it um, and the other thing is I'm just going to go through how you can actually cut things off I'll show you this black cow that I did but I literally cut through this part of the head and because the neck was too long and I reattached it um, and it came out absolutely fine I had to put an awful lot of wool around the neck to cover up the hole and every time I kept felting around that it would go in and in so I kept having to add and it strengthened it and you would never have known so it worked really really well you can I've seen people cut through the middle of an item and take out some of the wire and and shorten it um, lengthening it would be a lot harder you'd sort of be looking at doing some sort of taping method but it's all possible there's an awful lot of adjustments you can do with felt another thing to note is an awful lot of my items um, I just do the framework for the body and then I do no wire to go up through the head because it can kind of get annoying and get in the way and the horns I add after as well they've got wire inside them so you can just do the framework for the body wrap that all quite easily do the legs and then if any of you have seen my videos you'll see I put a little bit of neck on attach the head do the scarf method and that helps keep it all nice and secure and you wouldn't know the difference a lot of people don't use wire armature at all I know that Bear Creek felting doesn't use any wire armature at all apart from in um, items with really long legs like giraffes most of her stuff is wire free so it's perfectly possible and another way of doing it is you can just do the body and then do I would double up these pipe cleaners do the legs and attach the legs on afterwards so you definitely don't have to have uh, all that framework to be wrapping stuff around you just add the legs on afterwards so there's ways around it if you're not enjoying that method here's the black cow I was going on about so where that needle is uh, from there down I chopped probably about half an inch to an inch out of the middle of that and reattached it and you wouldn't know the difference just to also show you when I did Romeo Rabbit I did an eye that was huge and I just ripped off the whole eye so needle felting is extremely forgiving if you've done something wrong you can just pull stuff off and also if you've made something too big you can literally cut it off and redo the edge it's a lot easier to add on stuff so always do smaller which I should have done here but you can use scissors 
there we go felters that is it for today i hope that has helped you in some way shape or form if you have any other questions put them in the comments below if you have any other solutions that would be really good if you could put them down there as well because that will help everybody and help our community of needle felters we're all here to share and um, wire armature is just a thing that you just have to give it a go and try it i've got a very good wire armature video which i'm going to link um, at the end but thanks for watching everybody the next video i'm going to do is i think fabian the fox um, so that'll be out in about five or six days so happy felting everybody and see you soon take care so here we are let's just i've started with sew again so um i'm saying so again stop it stop it stop it oh it's got my child's name on it that's bad right and the next one we're going to use the next one we let's start again right words come on Take care everybody wherever you are and good luck with your felting that's rubbish